Hey guys, Jared here. I have quite a bit that I want to try and get done today. Uh, I've really been wanting to get started on the video for my toolbox workbench, but I also need to make a video about uh, an incident that happened with my drone over the past few days. I took the family on a trip out of state, went to some state parks, and lost my drone and it was quite an adventure and uh, had some other funny things happen and I'd like to share that with you but I'm gonna make that in another video but for today I need to get the workbench toolbox cleaned up uh, also I need to clean up my welding table put away some of the hardware and I'm also maybe if time allows going to get started on unboxing some of the parts for my CNC router. I got uh, some of the hardware showed up a couple days ago and I want to get started on unboxing that and possibly assembling the CNC router. May not happen today. I have a lot to do uh, but maybe within the next couple days I'll get started on that as well as for the toolbox workbench I need to fix the ballast in that fluorescent light, uh, which has been dead now for quite a while. I'd been dragging my feet on repairing it because I thought I would replace all of my lights with LEDs. That has not happened yet, so I went ahead and bought a ballast. I'm going to replace it, get it fixed, so I have better lighting over the workbench. And uh, then we'll be able to get started on that video and get that up. I'm a so uh, stay tuned with me. This is my first of a daily update vlog type video and just showing you what I plan on doing today and hopefully at the end of the day show you what I accomplished and what I didn't. So stay tuned. decided to uh, ship off that drone I found and have it repaired uh, even though it's not mine if I come across the owner you know I will definitely give this drone back to the owner and all they'll have to do is just pay me whatever it costs to have DJI repair it I'm not going to try to make any money off of it or anything like that but uh, right now I'm headed up to the UPS service center to drop it off. I have the label on it and I'm ready to ship it out. So hopefully I'll hear something from them within the next uh, within the next week or so on what it will cost to repair this.
Okay, so the other part of my day was I wanted to open up the parts I got for the CNC router. I ordered the kit for what is called the platform CNC by Brian at, I believe it's pronounced Grunblaw. I'm not sure if he's making the kits anymore, but if he is going to, it's a really cool CNC piece of equipment that is designed to be a platform for multiple things, whether it be a router, uh, vinyl plotting, you can do laser, you can do plasma, you know, kind of whatever you wanted. But CNC router parts makes a supplemental kit. Brian's kit only comes with the steel pieces and some aluminum pieces that are kind of the custom stuff and then these pieces are going to be bearing plates, v-groove bearings, some 8020 aluminum extrusion and stuff like that. So uh, I'm super excited to get this going. So let's open this up and see what we have in here. Okay, these are the bearing blocks. Acme dumpster nut for the Acme lead screws, uh, which I'll also mention I purchased all of my hardware from McMaster card directly via the bill of materials I had an order that I needed a place with McMaster car anyway so I just went ahead and purchased all of that stuff directly from McMaster and could have probably purchased some of this as well uh, Oldham motor couplers V groove bearings with what you cannot quite see, but there are eccentric nuts here. T nuts for the 8020. More V groove bearings. And needle bearings. And shaft collar locks. So that should be pretty much everything I need to get started. But let's get this moved out of the way and open up our 8020.
Nice. So here is all of the 8020 for the CNC router kit. That is pre cut to length. And I will show you in the build, but it is also tapped in the ends where it needs to be tapped. So, wow, cool. I'm super excited. Can't wait to do that. I hoped, had hoped to get this cleaned off today and start on my toolbox workbench video, but I'm not sure that's going to happen today. It's been a busy day. I'm running out of time and I have some other stuff I need to do this evening. So uh, that may have to wait till tomorrow. We will see. But as always, thanks for watching.